In chapter 7, we're going to continue to look at relationships between variables, but we're going to look at exactly how can we describe these relationships so precisely that we have an equation that describes how the two relationships uh, work together. And so this is called linear regression, and we're going to start off with simple linear regression when we have just one predictor variable to predict whatever we're interested in. And then in multiple regression, we're going to look at several variables that act as predictors to predict whatever we're interested in. Now let's talk about linear regression. Now, linear regression assumes a linear relationship when the uh, relationship between the two variables can best be represented by a straight line versus a curvilinear. So we're going to assume that they're linear relationships. This line can be used to predict uh, values. Perhaps uh, you remember a movie that came out a few years ago called uh, Moneyball. It was with Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt doing statistics. Awesome! Oh, I thought it was the greatest movie in the world. Um, well, actually, it didn't turn out Brad Pitt. He didn't really do the statistics. He hired some nerdy guy to do them for him. But still associating with Brad Pitt and statistics. <sighs> well, whenever when we figure out what this line is, we can use it to predict values. For example, in Moneyballs, the story of how they used uh, uh, linear regression and multiple regression to figure out what players to buy to win the most games. And so, for example, to win in baseball, you basically have to get the most runs, the most points. And it turns out that one of the best predictors of uh, runs, in fact, the best predictor, is the on-base percent. And that's kind of like all the hits and walks and getting hit by balls, everything that you can do to get on base, divided by the total number of times that you're at bat, not counting uh, uh, intentional sacrifices. And so that's a, a, a specific variable that could be calculated for each uh, a player, and lots of variables were predicted, and it turned out that that on-base percent was uh, the best predictor, and so they used that to hire uh, people with a limited budget they had. They didn't hire the stars, they didn't hire the home run kings, they hired people that they could that had a high on-base percent. And um, that enabled the Oakland A's to do much, much better uh, during that time that uh, um, uh, represented in the, in the movie. So these linear relationships can be represented by an equation allowing us to predict values. Now, what do we mean by a linear uh, equation? With, typically, it's in the form of y equals bx plus c, or y is the number of runs scored. We can use that. We can predict that, our predictor variable, from some number times x, the on-base percentage, plus some constant. Now, it turns out that this some number times x, that's b, the slope of the line, and c is the y-intercept. That's where the y uh, the, the line crosses the y-axis when, when x equals 0. So we want to be able to take data and put it into this form of y equals bx plus c, calculating the slope, or the coefficient, and the intercept here. 